What's up nerds? My name is Chai and welcome to Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. Uh, I got this little game in- I got this- I got this game in the same Humble Bundle that I got art school in, which I will again link down below. Oh, it's so cute! But again, there's one of those things where I saw the art style and I was like, oh, I have to have this! Oh, okay. Ring ring! Okay. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamat datang kembali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So, get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa! The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. <laughs> yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Whoa. Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell, the haunted island, like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Oh god, that's hurting my throat. <laughs> I saw my magnifying glass. It's over here. See me. Ah, yes. My trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Now I can right-click to see things up close. <gasps> Yay! Hey. Right. Time to solve a mystery! This is adorable. Do, 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 do. He looks so happy! I love him! It's about. Frog Detective Adventure. I love it. <laughs> Spooky lightning. There's only lightning in this half of the screen though. <laughs> Starring the detective, Martin. Larry. Mo the Mouse Mouse. <laughs> Bernie. Fresh X. And the rest. <laughs> Case one, the haunted island. Yay! Nice. Notes. Hmm. Maybe a man in suit. Oh, cool. Hey, can I go to my boat? This is fun! <laughs> but I gotta get back to work. But I wanna go. Uh, who are you? 
Okay, I should probably talk to the one who's waving at me. Ah! You finally made it! Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Wishdown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. I think that's all we got. I'll come back after some investigation. See you around. Ooh. Who took my sunglasses? Get back. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. Some whole noises need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. Magnet. This might come in handy. Oops, I stole your magnet. Hi. That's a hole. Hi! <laughs> I have so many chemicals laying around. I want to explore everything. What? What a- oh my gosh! It's a bug with a people face. You must be Larry. Is that a plate of french fries? Oh, it's a plate of noodles. Yum, but it's not mine, but I want it. Hi! Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. Rawr. Hi. Must keep exploring. That's... Cave. You're a mouse. Hi. Can I have the broom? Ooh, a broom. I got a broom. Hey, look at you. Look at the stick bug. Can I sleep? Hey. It's always good to take a rest. Oh. What's back here? Hi! Hey! Who are you? No, come back, friend! He ran away! Friend? Hi! Will you come back? We have friend. Okay, let's go talk to Larry. Hi, it's me, Larry. Hello, I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't, I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. 
that's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. Nope, I heard, I just, I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not. That's such a relief. Can I, are you gonna ask me questions? Yeah, ask me them. The questions I mean. Dude, are you on cocaine? Well, can you tell me about the noise? First of all, I am not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why, haven't you told anyone? No one listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean, I'm a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. Get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is, is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. So the normal explosive ingredients then. Standard explosive recipe. Yes. If you want to get in that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. makes dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need everything. Alright, um, let's go talk to Martin, the sloth. He looks so nervous. Ah! Who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there's nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself the king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask who's Finley. Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Got questions for me? You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins! Okay. Who's Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. Last time I saw Finley, she was talking about a song she wanted to dance for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she'll probably... She's probably still at the prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete. What with this whole spooky con the situation going on? <sighs> about the noises. Can you tell me more about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that the most ghosts can't be seen. And get this. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. We'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's dark. Dark! Just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. Yeah, I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange state. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a vis? Exorcism. 
It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine, you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that one on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghost around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep. Nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, Detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Hey, we got a chunk of pure gold. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Hey. That's about all I got then. I bet Finley is, like, stuck in the cave or something. Can I see? Friend! Oh, hi! Wait, I wanna look at your face. Hi, lizard. Alright, um, let's talk to you with the hole. Noodle. Hey! How's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't say I'm su just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away! This hole. Well, can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole! Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes, but not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish you could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages, it's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings, but there's wool everywhere. Think everyone is grossed out by it. Aw, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not, but it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay. What if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? Pretty sure, yeah. Gross! I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Ugh, yes please. You need something to clean it up with. Like a broom. Like fire. Okay, probably won't use fire. Okay. I can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? I love it. Can I... How do I... Uh, 
I'm in the hole. Hmm. Should listen to the sign. Science line, don't go in. Okay, can't figure out how to pick the stuff up yet, so we're gonna go talk to people. But first, can I get in the water? Oh, I can't get in the water here. Uh, wrong side. Okay, let's go talk to. I already talked to you. How about you? Koala. Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. What is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Hmm? Why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice, right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Tell me about this ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm. Maybe two weeks. Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Ew. I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, real magnet. I don't know what to do with the shell. Let's see, I wanna just try to get the hair again. I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's so weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Now physically knock yourself out. Phew. I, I just had to talk to him again. I'm, I'm not smart. And you're just swing swung with the broom. Nice. Okay. Um, you have a duck, the mouse, and dude with the pasta. Let's go talk to the duck. Zoom in on your face. <gasps> ah, stop right there! Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! I won't. We can't be sure of that. Guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Still gonna stand like that? Yep. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. Just worked up about my shells. I mean to be rude, but what shells? Can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for you to weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. 
Do you know anything about the cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. Just looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. No, it's a cave, for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey! Sorry! It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I don't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool. Thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Use the magnifying glass. Why do I need another magnifying glass? There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Nothing. Hi. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Uh, are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing! That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. <coughs> oh. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing. I told you. Um, I am afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. Sorry to hear about that dream. What, oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So, why are you so afraid of me? Fine! You've worn me down. Damn, you extreme detective stills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh, well... Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wa- Mouse wash? Mouth wash in return. Sure, I'll do my best. Can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost! Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist. Not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah. I only took the job because, you know. Uh, you know. Because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird we haven't heard any weird noises? Oh for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out though. Sure thing.
I'll come back later. Peekaboo! <laughs> I love the friend. God, why are we lagging? Okay, that's better. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and, uh, dance tiles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but, like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. Great. Sorry for a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, see you later. Got a monkey fact. Can I have the mouthwash? You have some questions? Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. I think I can do that. Gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Got mouthwash, mouthwash. Oh my god, he's actually dancing now. Nice. Boy! <laughs> nope. Alright, uh, we only have one person left to talk to. And then... Oh wait, no, we have two. Ooh. Fresh X. Howdy. Hello. Are you the, uh, yep. Great! You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. All right, uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. I had to question you on your day off. Take it away, D-Dick. It's hilarious. Your smile. I hope you don't mind me sighing, but you have a wonderful teeth. <gasps> Thank you! I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile's 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth, of course! A what? <laughs> I get a shipment here every three days. I go through this stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow. Where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Can I use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Tech. This is so weird. I 
I can't get any further down. Why didn't you just climb into holes? Frogman. Can I have your pasta? Hey, you're that detective, right? The one the monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why'd you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out. Like me. Still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no. You're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking! Sure. Can I ask you some questions? What else do you want to know? What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, just letting you know. But, it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, oh, it's a lot of good information, thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure, you're not. Bernie winks. Even if I can't be a secret agent, things I'd give up for a magnifying glass. There's nothing I want more. Okay. Nice. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's a very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is uh, satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a really weird way to word that. Whatever, would you like the pasta? Heck yeah! all yours nice we got all the stuff ask me them the questions i mean explosion let's make some dynamite let's see wow you got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yeah. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry. Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thank you. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyways, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. 
Nice. Nice. I have a cave. Nice. This is adorable. Okay. Lots of mushrooms. Look at all these mushrooms. I don't think I've ever seen like green or red mushrooms before. Hi. Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley! Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh. You're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Ha! <laughs> Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> nah, just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it would sound super warped, too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Ha! Really? <laughs> Yeah. That's so funny! Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. Didn't even think of that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep! I was right! Finley was here! Finley! Hi, Martin! Hi. Hey! Hi! What are you doing here? I was in the cave! You... What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks! Two weeks! Two weeks, to be exact! Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave, all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from my radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But, my ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost! Nope! Just me! Just goes to show, you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Life tips, kids! Don't trust books! <laughs> yeah! Book books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources, and to check that the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting information from a trusted site. 
Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. <laughs> That's adorable. So, anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. Um, in it, so win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins! Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse! Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. Think we need more entrance. I know a few hard worker friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today! Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry... Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go! This is cute. Mo! Or not Mo, um. Not Martin either. Mystery Monkey! actually break dancing. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. <laughs> nice. I think the best ones were definitely either Martin or Mystery Monkey. Pick the winner! <gasps> Not. Nah. Who is Martin or Mystery Monkey? I'm gonna say Mystery Monkey because they're the one I, I saw in the beginning in the practice and I was like, you. from oh hi <laughs> Aww. and frankly where'd the trophy come from too is this the end A little bit later. Oh, there's pictures. What the 
heck? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective Speaking. How may I help you? Detective! Supervisor! Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah. Where did you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD! Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. The detective will return in... The Case of the Invisible Wizard. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Frogdetective.net Alright, so that is the end of Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. I love it. I love everything about it. The art style was cute. Doing the voices was fun. I really want to do more things where I can do voices. A lot of times I forget like, what voices I give what characters. I really enjoyed it. It was pretty good for a short little point and click adventure. Well, it wasn't really a point and click. It was kind of it was a short adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more games like Frog Detective, please let me know down below. And if you have any suggestions, definitely let me know. I will link the Humble Bundle and the Steam page down below. Also, I'll send a link to the game website at frogdetective.net. I think it was. Um, but with that, that is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. But until next time, say hi to the island friend! Bye!